Jason, good morning. The Wetterling family was in the courtroom in the front row when Danny Heinrich confessed in detail to abducting, sexually assaulting, and killing Jacob. Patty Wetterling said it was incredibly painful to know her son's last days, hours, and minutes. She said they had always held out hope that Jacob was alive until he was found last week. We've watched Patty for nearly 27 years talk about the hope she had of finding her son. Yesterday, she had the strength to talk to the media right after Heinrich's chilling courtroom confession. She was surrounded by her husband, son, and two daughters. We love you, Jacob. We will continue to fight. Our hearts are hurting. We will try and pull. I would, I would love to talk to you all. I'm just not ready yet because for us, Jacob was alive until we found, until we found him. We need to heal and we will, we will speak with you. There's a lot of lessons learned and there's a lot more work to do to protect all of our world's children. Patty Wetterling also thanked another victim of Danny Heinrichs. She said Jared Shirell had the courage to stand up and share his story until people started listening. Nine months before Jacob's kidnapping, Shirell was assaulted in Cold Spring. DNA linked the case to Heinrich early last year, which ultimately led investigators to the discovery of child pornography in Heinrich's home last summer. Shirell said he's in the midst of finding a new purpose in helping others find closure. I hope to uh, open the doors to the Painesville community for starters. It's where I've lived for the last 27 years. Unbeknown to me that Jacob was resting there the whole time. The irony. Heinrich can't be charged in this case because too much time has passed, but Shiro filed a lawsuit and is seeking damages. Patty Wetterling said there were a lot of lessons learned and there is still a lot of work to do to protect children. She'll be speaking about that in the coming days.